Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit Servo. Now the Servo RC or Hobby Servo is a type of geared motor that can rotate 180 degrees. It is controlled by sending electrical pulses from our Uno R3 board. These pulses tell the servo what position to, to move to. Now we'll be wiring the servo to our Arduino Uno R3 controller on our Super Starter Kit. So let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links to the description below that will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the RC or Hobby servo motor, their servos have integrated gears and a shaft that can precisely control um, where, where it is. And with all those gears, it makes it very difficult to turn, so it'll be very precise. And standard servos allow the shaft to be positioned at various angles, usually between zero and 100, 180 degrees. Continuous rotation servos allow the rotation of the shaft to be set to various speeds. So here is um, my kit servo, just a, a di quick diagram of it. And it comes with different arms that we can actually put onto the actual unit with a couple of screws to attach. So that's where we can um, automate some of our um, projects that we want to do and control servo and angles. Looking at the wiring of the unit, you'll see that I have a uh, five volt going into the plus side of the servo. Then we have the negative side going on the ground and we have a pulse going into the pulse width modulator on, on pin number nine. Now, if we actually look at the hardware, you'll see here is my um, Elegoo Arduino Uno R3 controller. Then we have our servo, and then we have our accessories that we mentioned before. You can see that we just have the one accessory right now pointing directly up at 90 degrees. So if we actually now look at our um, software here it is right here you can see that what the software uses is a library called servo so we need this library installed so we go to sketch and we go to include library and we can manage libraries what we'll do is just type in servo and when we do the servo right here has already been installed now yours may or may not be, depending on um, what version of software you have, but you must have this library in order for this program to work. All right, so we'll just close that off. And now what we'll do is take a look at the actual program. So we include that servo. Then we set our object, so our servo, to my servo. So this is creating an object called my servo. And now what we do is do a setup and we attach nine. Now connect pin nine with the controller line in the middle line of, of the servo. And then we have my servo right 90. It moves the servo, servo to the center position or 90 degrees. Then we start our loop. And in our loop, we have uh, right 90. So it moves to 90 degrees. Then we delay or wait one second or 1000 milliseconds then we write to 60 degrees then we delay again one second then 90 degrees delay then 120 degrees and delay so we're just oscillating back and forth center position 60 degrees center position 120 degrees center position etc okay, and that continuously loops through this here so what we'll do now is just transfer that over to our Arduino Uno. So we will, um, instead of verifying, we will upload this. So we'll should verify and upload the controller. And once we do, what you'll see is now our servo starts moving. There we go. So it's going back and forth. So what you'll see is going 120 and 60, 90, 120, 90, 60, etc. 
If we want, we can modify this and instead of going uh, 60, we can go 30, which will give it a little more uh, to that one side. And we can go 150, give it a little more the other way too. So what we'll do is send that down, upload that to our controller. And what you'll then notice is that we're gonna go a little further this time. There we go. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.